Well, I think like we said uh, at the award show, this is the ultimate team award. It's very humbling and flattering to be able to receive this. Uh, but this is a reflection of our team and our organization. Great coaches, great players, and uh, I'm just happy to be a part of it. But uh, obviously, ultimately, what you want to be doing this time of year is still practicing and getting a chance to compete with the Eagles and Patriots are doing. But I think tonight is a great representation of our organization. Uh, very happy for Todd and Aaron. I think it's well-deserved, and certainly uh, great players like that make you a better coach. But uh, humbled to accept this award on behalf of our team, and, and that's exactly what this is tonight. Coach Samuel King, Fox Television. This side over here. Where are you at? Oh, okay. Right here. Sorry for the lights. Um, what was it like for you to be even a finalist and nominated awards against some of the coaches like you know, Mike Zimmer and Coach Belichick and Coach Peterson? That's it. It's, it's humbling and it's flattering. And, you know, you have such a great amount of respect and appreciation and admiration for the coaches around this league. Uh, I'm a fan of coaching. So those guys are guys that I respect, I look up to. Uh, you watch the way that they lead and motivate their players. And in a lot of ways, we try to mimic and emulate it to try to do it the right way. So uh, it, it's very flattering. Uh, this, is, this is something that is a reflection of our team. But, you know, you look at those guys and what they did with their teams. And uh, it's something that you respect, you admire, and we're excited about attacking this offseason. But, but very flattering. Uh, coach. Uh, this is only the, the second time I think that uh, team has swept offensive and defensive player of the year, and then it's the first time that team has gotten offensive, defensive player of the year, and then coach of the year. What does that mean to you? That means a lot to our organization, Miles, and really it's, it's a reflection of those players. You look at what Todd and Aaron were able to do and how instrumental they were of the success that we did have, being able to win a division for the first time in a long time. Uh, it's something that we'll use as motivation moving into the offseason. Uh, it does feel a little bittersweet only because uh, you remember the Falcons game, and those are things that I know I want to do a better job for our team, the way that I can look at myself critically and figure out how we can get better. But uh, it's a great night for the Rams organization, and uh, very happy for those guys and our team. Coach, this question is from WXIA in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, your coaching roots, I'm sure, go back back there and, yeah. and your influences. Can you just talk a little bit about that? Yeah, very fortunate. You know, you look at uh, being from Marist, uh, great school in Atlanta, Coach Chadwick, and a lot of those coaches are very special to me. Uh, they've had a huge influence. And I think, you know, you're always a product of the environment and the atmospheres that you've been placed in. And uh, I've been exposed to some great leaders, some people that do it the right way. And, and it starts out in high school when you really see the way that those guys lock in on the details, starting with Coach Chadwick's leadership, how consistent they are day in and day out. Uh, and then they value good people. And I think that's one of the things that our team does have is it's about not only good players, but good people that uh, help fight through some adversity. They keep everything in track. They understand that it's about doing things the right way consistently one day at a time. And uh, going back to Marist, I uh, feel very fortunate to have those roots there and the influence and effect that that, that place had on me. Hey, Coach. Right here. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Um, the Rams took home a lot of hardware tonight. Uh, what, what does this say about, about your organization currently and where you guys hope to go uh, moving forward into next season and beyond? I think it's exciting. You know, to, to be honored is, is very flattering. And, and, you know, you look at Todd and Aaron, that's what's special. See those guys up there accept those awards. And that's why you get into coaching is to try to help players reach their highest potential. Uh, it's something that motivates you. But when you develop and build relationships like you have with these guys, uh, it means that much more. And, and to have Jared here tonight as well was special. But... What it means is that we had a good season that I think we can build on, uh, but nothing is, everything is earned in this league. And, and just because we won the division last year doesn't mean anything going into next year. I think you feel really good about the players we have in place, but you have to earn it every single day. It's a very humbling league. I want to say when you just look at the NFC, it was five out of six teams were not in the playoffs last year. Uh, I think Atlanta was the only team that's gone consecutive years from the NFC. So it goes to show you what a competitive league this is. Great coaches, great players, and, and we're excited because we feel like we've got some good people in place. Coach here, Ricardo Lopez, La Opinión in Los Angeles, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, you just, uh, one year ago, well, you, you were not even a head coach in NFL, and here you are being the coach of the year, youngest ever, etc. How can you imagine the future of Rams? What, what, what can you see of the Rams in the next two, three, five years? Well, I think you're certainly excited. I think when you look at just the players that were here, when you look at some of the veteran leadership that we have in our locker room, it, it's about those players and it's about good people, and that's what we do have. And uh, I think they understand that what we did last year won't mean anything going into next year, but 
it is something that I think we can draw on to gain some confidence and kind of pick up where we left off. It's not about starting over, uh, but you feel very fortunate to be a part of it. I think we're excited. I know that there will be some raised expectations, but we love that and we won't shy away from it. But what it's going to be about for us is focusing on our process and, and developing a standard of performance. And that's one day at a time, one practice at a time. We'll relax a little bit, but when we come back, we're going to attack this off-season program the right way and, and very excited about it. Coach. Last question for Coach, over on the right. Okay. Um, how much do you feel the res responsibility about tonight's Todd Gurley and Aaron Donald's uh, success? Don't yeah, you? it's ex it's extremely important for our team. Uh, I think those guys will be the first to tell you their success is a is a you know a product of being around great teammates as well. But uh, they're special players. You look at just the youth that they have as well. Uh, we're very excited to build around those types of guys. Obviously, Jared was here as well. So uh, we've got some key, key people in the right places. Just from a foundational standpoint, we're going to build on it. But uh, like you said, you've got good players. Certainly makes you a better coach than what you really are and feel fortunate to work with those guys. All right, thank you, guys.